Hi, my name is Aaron with Ag Diesel Solutions. We're out doing another field install today on Cusper's farm down here in the river bottoms. Uh, it's been kind of rainy here the last day or two. Everybody's been pretty well done with corn. Uh, most guys are in beans. Uh, some are even done with beans. But uh, we got a guy here on an 875 ripper with a STX 450 uh, Case IH four wheel drive. It's got the uh, Cummins 15 liter in it. Uh, pretty well powerhouse, but you can never have too much power, so that's why we're here. But uh, we've got a QSX 5001 module we're getting ready to install on this. Uh, pretty simple installation. Uh, we'll go over and show you. Uh, we're going to be working primarily on the left hand side of the engine as you're sitting in the cab. Uh, pretty well just two main connection points on this engine. That's the fuel quantity valve and the map sensor. Uh, to go over a couple things, uh, just make sure that all your connection points are good and secure. Uh, we don't want to have any loose connections that might cause uh, issues with the tractor or our module not to work properly. Just make sure everything's plugged in properly. Uh, and just be sure to be safe when doing this. Uh, make sure the tractor's powered down, you don't want it running. And also, uh, do, when doing this install, keep the module away as far as you can from the engine. We don't want it to heat up and malfunction as well that way. So, we're going to walk through step-by-step -step process on uh, the installation points where you need to be looking uh, along with your installation instructions. Uh, the first installation point we're going to talk about is where your map sensor is located on the air intake horn. Uh, in the installation instructions it shows it on a newer 530 uh, quad track and that map sensor is out here on the outer part of that intake horn. Uh, on some of the older ones it may also be found there's a cover here. It's right behind me. There's a cover here on the side of the engine. Uh, you pull that off and on some of them it's located behind that cover right here that's just a little four pin uh, connector for the map and solely what we're doing from it is just drawing power to wake the module up uh, our second location that you're going to be looking for is down here by the oil filter and that is your fuel quantity valve and that's going to be sticking straight down it's a three pin connector right here simply snaps in snaps out pretty simple another thing to touch base on when installing these make sure that it's on high uh, we have seen before that they come uh, stock out of the box but make sure it's turned on high uh, it's just uh, another problem we may see in the field guys forget to turn it on high and don't see any results so just make sure uh, you put that on high before you start putting it together that's where you're going to see your best performance best fuel efficiency so uh, solely the plugs that you're going to be plugging back into the existing location are the female ends first. So you're going to take the female end of the map sensor, plug it straight in as such. Here that snap and click, good connection. Then you're going to take the male side of the factory, or female side of the factory harness and plug into our male portion here. Snaps and clicks just like that. And that's going to be the same principles for the fuel quantity valve. We're going to take our female end, plug it in, hit click, it's good. And then take the female end from the factory harness and plug into the male end on our harness. And that pretty well completes the installation. For this QSX 5001 module, as I said, this is one of the much more simple ones, straightforward, easy to get to. And uh, following, we'll just wrap everything up with tie wraps and get it good and secure. Uh, that way, the operator or the farmer can get out and change it on the fly if he needs to. Uh, so we can do field demos, check and see how it's doing uh, in different situations in the field, in different soil types, or different uh, tillage depths with his ripper. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see how this one turns out. Thank you guys for joining us today for this install, this 15 liter Cummins on this Case IH Steiger 450. It was a good day, rain held off, so it looks like this grower is going to get to finish up ripping the majority of what he started today. Just a little overcast, but I uh, well, thank you guys again. I uh, want you guys to stay tuned for future uh, videos that we'll be having on our YouTube channel. So check us out on YouTube, Facebook, and also our website, agdieselsolutions.com. Uh, always remember guys, just be safe when you're out there. Hope everybody's had a good, safe, prospectful harvest. Uh, always want you guys to remember too, to farm smart, farm efficient, and farm with Ag Diesel Solutions. Thanks for watching. And also watch for part two where we're gonna do a ride along in this to see what difference it made inside the cab as well as our ground speed and what gear he was running in. So stay tuned for that. Have a nice